Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon MMO. Where your dreams come true if you wish upon a star. Yes. If you wish upon a star. And you wonder who you are. Now this video is going to get flagged, thanks. I know, huh? <laughs> Copyright! <coughs> yeah. I had something I wanted to talk about too, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually mentioned that I caught this Dratini before last episode. What? So, I caught this Dratini before last episode. Isn't that, uh, like, the first, like, evolution of the Dragonite? Yeah. You bastard. That's who I was trying to catch in the Safari Zone. I'm gonna go to the Safari Zone and catch me a Dratini, too, then. Oh, that fucking pisses me off, because there was one in, uh, Pixelmon that I was trying to catch, but it was, like, level 75. <laughs> God damn it. Or, I know it was, I don't think it was 75, but it was something ridiculous because you know the levels in that game are fucking yeah, off. Yeah, from what I've seen, that's one problem I have with it. Yeah, it, the levels are very off, uh, and they and I think they're going to fix that. They're going to make it more um, like uh, stable, and I think uh, that's going to come up in a future uh, update. That and you also um, like they're going to do actual variations of when you know dark and uh, light. You know, because certain Pokemon only show up during the day, certain. Pokemon yeah. Tonight, uh, in the future generations, of course. Uh, so I think that's actually going to implement that, which is going to be cool, uh, but kind of suck. Well, I guess it doesn't suck because there's not actually like monsters. Like, you know, there's no mobs that you uh, would have in actual Minecraft, which I, that's amazing because if there was actual like mobs in Minecraft, uh, in the actual mod, I wouldn't play. Because <laughs> that, that's just too much to handle. That's just that is too annoying to have to deal with the mobs and then deal with the Pokemon. And, you know, that's just, that's difficult. Yeah. But, if you do get, if you do get Minecraft, and you do decide to join us, uh, we already have, uh, uh, cause I did, I'm, I think actually we ended up doing this in like episode 4, but we have a, uh, Apricorn farm that we created. <clears throat> Took, like, forever to fucking do. Sucked really bad. Um... And yeah, so we already have an apricorn farm that everybody can use, uh, you know, to make your own pokeballs and stuff like that. I'll just come and take all the apricorns and cut all the trees down. Ha 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 ha. If you were to do that, I would, and I'm done this now, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I don't really... I wouldn't do that. Uh, but if you did, I would go into creative mode and plant it. <laughs> Fuck that, I would not go out and search for all the apricorns. Uh, yeah, and I actually think in the last episode that we did, which is episode 6, that's the last recording that we've done, I, uh, like, after the episode, because I wanted to get all the, uh, I wanted to get each person a stack of 64, uh, let's go. A stack of 64, um, Ultra Balls, that way we had, like, Ultra Balls. It took me, like, an hour and a half, or two hours after the episode was done to get all those, because you have to go and get iron, so I had to go and, you know, get, uh, Three stacks of 64 iron. I had to make those into um, I had to make those into bases. Or I had to make those into that's not like, uh, I had to make them into bases, and then I had to uh, like hammer them out, make them into what they're supposed to be, which is the actual base. I don't remember. What it was. I think it's actually like an iron slide or some shit like that, and then you hammer them into an iron base. Uh, and then I had to do the. Um, I had to do the same thing. I had to farm all the uh, right uh, apricorns to make the pokeballs. I had to cook all the apricorns. So I had to cook I think it was yellow and I don't remember with yellow and something. It was yellow and black. I think that's the color for the ultra balls and yellow and black. Are you there? Yeah, um... Could we just, like, pause the video and restart the Skype call? You're, like, cutting out. Yeah. Okay. Pausing now. Now. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Apparently the, uh, Skype call wasn't going over as planned. It was... Apparently, uh... Cutting out a bit. Cutting out on his side. Um... So you didn't hear anything of what I was saying, what did you? Um, I heard... Uh, you were getting iron for Ultra Balls... Mm -hmm. And yeah, it took a long time or something. 
Yeah, so it basically took me like about two and a half hours to actually make, I, th I think I've set a different number, but I don't remember exactly how long. It, it took a long time. Um, but uh, the color for the Ultra Balls is yellow and black, right? Yeah. Okay, so I had to basically take the apricorns, I had to cook, you know, three stacks of 64 black and three stacks of 64 yellow, which, you know, it cooking iron and cooking, just cooking stuff takes a decent amount of time anyway, which then I had to go get more coal because we ran out of coal, um, which was fucking terrible. Uh, then, of course, I have to actually make the um, Pokeball lids, then I have to take the Pokeball lids, I have to hammer them out to make them the actual lid, and then I have to go and... Um, Make I have to go uh, get a bunch of cobblestone, because, and then I have to heat treat the cobblestone to turn it into regular stone. Take the regular stone, make it into buttons, and then make the pokeballs. So I did that for yeah, probably about I guess I think it was I don't remember the exact time, but I think it, yeah, it took me about two and a half hours to get it all done. Maybe I don't want to so. play this game. <laughs> no, I mean it's really not that hard to do. Uh, it's just it takes a little long to do. Uh, but once you have them, like we have. Uh, I think it was like three. St yeah, I think we have three stacks of 64 Ultra Balls, <laughs> so you know you're fine. Like, if, if you do end up joining before we record the next episode, you know, we'll be you'll be fine. You know, we won't have to worry about making them. Yay! Da, 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 da. And I swear, I was so tempted to just cheat. I really was. Like, I was so tempted to just like hop into creative mode and just say fuck it. <laughs> Like give us three stacks of 64. I think I actually I think there's only two stacks of 64, and I think one's like 52. Cause I was just like I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I give up. I'm not going out to. I think cause I needed more apricorns, and I was just like nope. Mm -mm. I'm done. I ain't doing it no more. I was just like I'm not going to. Do it's a fun game though, you know. It's it has the Minecraft elements, which aren't bad, uh, cause you basically have to survive. You. Uh, and then you have the, uh, the, uh, you know, Pokemon universe. And there are trainers, and I think there are gems. I'm not 100% sure. We haven't ran across any gems, uh, yet, as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty amazing. If it had a story, it'd be even better. <laughs> like, if it had an actual solid, yeah. like, story base within the Minecraft universe, that'd be pretty cool. Well, that might come eventually, isn't it? Still in beta? Uh, I, I don't know if you can say it's in beta, because I think it's been out for like three years. Oh. So, I, I mean, I've it's, only just started hearing about it recently. Yeah, it, it's it, like, because I think it was because a lot of people run um, craft bucket servers, which is a, it just a type of server where you can add plugins and stuff like that. Um, and they don't, like, their, their craft, bucket, craft bucket plugin doesn't work very well. So a lot of people weren't wanting to make another server. Like I have two servers. I have one for Craft Bucket, which is what I just play with friends and stuff like that when we get bored. Um, and then I have uh, uh, a vanilla server, which is basically just like a regular server where you um, I have the Craft or I have the Pixelmon uh, server like plugged in or modded that way we can play Pixelmon, which is it's a very good thing. Mm. Oh. Uh, wait, never mind. I'll, I'll tell you after the episode's end. Okay. Ooh, super secret topic. You guys will never know what it's about. No, just because a lot of people get butt hurt. I. <laughs> it, it has to do with piracy. That's why. So a lot of people get butt hurt about it, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, whatever. Because I have no, I have no problem with piracy. I, I, I pirate myself. I don't care. You know, throw me in jail. I don't give a fuck. It's kind of funny how they're watching this when you're basically required to either have rom dumping skills or pirate. To play this yeah because <laughs> so and i well actually you know what fuck it then because yeah i guess that's true you're I, I watching a you're watching a game that has to do you have to like i don't know if you guys know the workings of uh pokey mmo but basically you need a fire red rom and to get the pokemon to follow you you need a heart gold or soul silver rom so to legitimately do that that would require you being able to rom dump your own cartridge which I have no idea how to rom dump a cartridge. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. I don't actually. I don't even really know if they're. Well, no, and I don't think that's actually true because I think uh, you can have a backup rom as long as you own the actual cartridge itself. Which I'm being completely honest. I don't fucking own it. 
I don't own fire red. I don't own. I own leaf gold. green. Huh? I own leaf green. So you know he's got the other half. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I don't own that. So you know I I necessarily support piracy, but I don't see a big problem with it because like for instance, okay, um I have a copy of uh why do I use Lear? I don't want to use Lear. That's good. Um I have a copy of Sony Vegas Pro 12. That program itself costs almost five hundred dollars. I am not paying $500 for a fucking... I'm not paying for it. It's... No, there's no way. That is too expensive for something that I don't get paid for. I, I do get paid, but not enough to... <laughs> like, it would take me probably two and a half years to three years at where I'm at right now to be able to afford that program. Just that single program. So I have a cracked version. I don't care. And why I even brought this up... If you want, I can get get a hold of a cracked version of Minecraft, and you can still play on the server. <gasps> so if you want Maybe. to do that, we can do that. Maybe. Because I have played like a demo version of Minecraft or something, and I didn't really like it. Yeah, it, and, and I think the biggest thing is it's not really... Like, it, it takes basically the best of both worlds. And, you know, puts them together. Like, have you played Terraria? No. Okay, so it's it's kind it's not a Minecraft ripoff, but the closest thing you can actually I I can relate it to is Minecraft. So basically, you you gather materials, you build stuff, and you kill monsters. That's basically what Minecraft is. You build you can they have different modes. You have you know adventure mode, uh, which I don't really know all that much about it. I'm guessing it's for going on adventures because that's what it's fucking called. <laughs> But, um, and then they have the, uh, you know, survival mode, and then they have creative mode. Creative mode, of course, is for creating things. There's no way in hell you're going to create a castle. I mean, well, there's some people who are stupid enough to do it or just take on the challenge. Uh, that'll create, like, a ginormous castle uh, in survival mode. Uh, but there's no way in hell you'd catch me doing that, because that would take too long. Um, creative mode, you know, you get all the blocks, so you're able to fly, you're able to do things that you wouldn't be able to normally do in create or survival mode and you you know build which is great because you know a lot it, it's it brings i think it's like the first art i almost said autistic <laughs> <laughs> it's the first artistic game as far as i know that's done right that you know you you can you know because a lot of people that's what they do you know a lot of youtubers who uh odors sleuth what the fuck is that uh, i believe it makes it so Normal attacks can hit ghost types. Oh yeah, it completely negates the foe's effect, uh, efforts to heighten its ability to evade. You were wrong. Oh. No! You were wrong, sir! I was wrong about a Pokemon thing. What yeah, the well, you're, you're the Pokemon expert out of us. I was just wrong about another Pokemon thing, too! What? I thought this is where you get the XP share, and I was coming to see how many Pokemon I needed to cash for it, but apparently it's a Lickitung trade. Oh. Where is the XP share? I know it's one of these gate things. Is it the other side? I'm gonna explore. I, you know, I'm gonna go fight the gym, because I don't want to be training the whole time. Where's the gym at? I really want the XP share. Yeah, I do too. That's that's kind of why I want to advance. <laughs> where the fuck is it at? Oh. Come on, looks like it can be cut. Yay! Oh, here's a scientist. It might be this side. Um, so yeah. And then survival mode, of course, is in, you know, okay. you're surviving. I was right. It was at one of Fuchsia's gates. It's 50 Pokemon you need to catch. 50? Yeah. Uh, I've only got 21. I don't even know how many... How many oh, you checked the Pokedex, right? That's what you click on? <coughs> uh, I just talked to him and he tells you, but... Oh, I've uh, caught 14. Damn it. I got 21 out of 386. Wow. Alright, well, I guess that means we're gonna have to start, you know. See, I can go catch, catch Caterpie. Pope. I can catch Weedle. I could catch Spiro. I could train, like, Rattata and Pidgey and evolve them, too. I don't know what I I'll do. Do that. I don't think I have the patience for that. Uh, I'm trying to think what Pokemon I actually have on, uh. Close. On. God damn it, close. Yeah, the the very yeah. that's I think it's the only really big thing that I have an issue with this game is it doesn't fucking like the close like button doesn't work. Like you have to like go over to the side a little bit before it'll actually close. Which is annoying. Yeah. But it Woohoo. There's a lot I didn't realize there were so many trainers in this gym. I did not want to bite you, I wanted to 
flame you. I'm gonna flame you. Flamer. Fight oh. me. So if you do, I gotta sneeze. But okay, never mind. Um, if you do just decide to join the Pixel One, what starter are you gonna choose? Maybe a water one, cause you have Trico and friend is Quilava. Mhm. Mm well, Sam uh joined too. He he joined in one of the later episodes. Oh. I think it was a level. I think it was episode four. He joined. Uh, and I don't remember what he picked. No. No idea what he picked. No, he ruined it. Yeah, there's gonna be like guest hosts. Like it's gonna be me and Beta for the most part who are gonna be running the series, because uh, he's gonna be in hopefully every episode, uh, unless there's something that comes up that he can't make it and we need to record because we don't have one for you know the week or whatever. Um, but uh, Sam will be making appearances every once in a while um, if you know Double decides he's gonna you know go through with it or whatever. You know he'll make some appearances. I'm trying to think of. Who else I, I want to have appear eventually? Because I think that's I think that's the thing I like about Minecraft is it's a series that anybody can just kind of jump into whenever. Mm. Like you can like I could have a survival series and I could have you jump in, you know, and it would be fine. It wouldn't you know disrupt the series because there's no real story line to it. Yeah. So it's it's easy to jump in and out of. Woohoo! Gravel is level twenty. What time? Oh, what level does it turn into arcane? Firestone. Oh, fucking Firestone. You can buy one and sell it on the department store. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the move list, because I know there's some Pokemon that you, you know, have to... You can only get it as the, like, pre-evolution, or whatever you want to call it, and then if you evolve it at, like, a certain level, you're not able to get that, so I'm going to wait. Until I know the facts. Of life. Okay, so what, what's Trico's third evolution? Sceptile. I, Sceptile. I really, like, I swear, like, yeah. if... Like, I, I would... If they, like, added Torchic to the, uh... Uh, like, band, I, I, I might even be willing to start the series over. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because I love... I love Torchic. I think that's my favorite starter. What start? What what series is that from? Anyway, what what generation is that from? Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Yes, that's why. The last the last uh, generation that I played, which was third, and we're on like seventh or something right now. Six. Six. So I'm three generations behind. <gasps> and I never really played uh, generation two either. Played the first one, and I played the third one. I mean, I played the second one, but I never really got into it. I heard it was like really long because you could actually go back and uh, go into uh, it was Kanto and yeah. uh, do a whole nother league and I'm just like ah that sounds like it's going to take too long I don't know bum, bee, bum. so if you do end up uh, joining us on the series what is going to be your goal because my goal of course is to catch all 151 right, so I think it's 151 or 150 because I don't know if they have Mew in it um but catch all the original Pokemon for the first generation. Uh, doubles, er, not doubles, but uh, fucking betas is to try to obtain a uh, shiny Mewtwo. Good luck with that, because I don't even know if they have it. But, yeah, shiny whatever. Mewtwo. Did That'd he, be amazing. Didn't he find a shiny Nidorino or something? I think he thought he did, but nobody knew what it looked like. Like, what the Nidorina shiny looks like, so we just kind of like... Uh, was it purple? I have no idea. Because if it's not, then it's shiny. I have no idea. I, I'm i pretty sure it's shiny is either green or red. Because I know I, know I want to find a shiny magic carp. Which is gold. I know that. Yeah. I know I, that. I, I know that shiny. I know like the ones that everyone knows like black Charizard, black Rayquaza, um, gold magic Oh yeah. Oh. They have, they have Rayquaza in the uh, Pixel 1 too. And it, it spawned, like, fucking, like, I swear, like, seven times during, like, the first two episodes. <laughs> what? Uh, because it, legendaries, how they spawn in is basically, um, like, it'll say, you know, oh, there's a, a legendary has spawned in the, you know, whichever biome. It'll say the biome, and I think the, uh, I think it's the plains biome is exclusively him. Now, 
was like, oh, you bastards. But it was, we just started out, so our fucking Pokemon was like level like, well, his, which was retarded. And I don't know if yeah, I, the, I, oh, uh, I'm so pissed. You teleported him in it, man. It, yeah, because he was in a battle with some like level 40, or no, it wasn't even 45, but I think it was like level like, I think it was level 19 or something. And I teleport him over to me because I found the Pokemon Center. Uh, and I didn't really, he didn't tell me that he was in a battle. And apparently when I teleported him, you know, it automatically won him the fucking battle. And then he, like, I think he, like, all, all of his Pokemon are, like, level 30 now. And I'm just like, I, you fucking bastards. But that's going to be it for this episode <laughs> of Let's Play Pokemon MMO. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, our commentary is getting, uh fun i like doing um, i like doing cool commentaries cool commentaries are easier to do than uh single commentaries um i think because as you guys can tell my single commentaries i'm talking about the game exclusively because i don't really have anything else on my mind uh but co commentaries we don't even talk about the fucking game <laughs> whatsoever at least for me and connor uh, me and double i talked about the exp share well, I, okay <laughs> One little thing. But yeah, don't forget to li uh, like the video if you enjoy it. Share it on Facebook and Twitter and Google+. Plus If you use that shitty service, and of course, subscribe for more content. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.